Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the overwintering bin. Um, it has been a little over a week since my update. Um, I was trying to avoid coming out here. We had a really bad cold snap. We had that snow that quickly melted away, but then it was consistently like in the 20s, which was unusually cold for this time of year for us here in Maryland. Um, but it warmed up for a few days. Now it's gonna be getting a little cold again, but I wanted to poke in and over the next two days I'm gonna film this and um, figure out what we're gonna do to insulate this a little bit better. So let me pop into the bin and I'll show you what's going on right now and then we will um, get ready and see if we're gonna feed or, or what we're gonna do next. All right, so I'm pleasantly surprised to see that the temperature is in the 50s in the bin. It's still a bit cold, but compared to what it, it could be, I think that's pretty darn good. I'm gonna move the thermometer to another spot, give another spot check before I dig any deeper. So all around the entire core, it's reading uh, about 55 to 58, but if you go closer to the edge, it's actually only about 50. So it is staying a little bit warmer in the middle. So I'm gonna dig just a little bit here. The top part is wet, but I wanna see if there's any worms where we had our um, little pocket of food and alfalfa meal and all that we put in here. And that's, my finger's breaking into it right now, hold on. Glove would have been a good idea. I don't see any worms right here, but it actually does feel a little bit warm in comparison to the rest of the bedding here. really dry. I think that might be part of the problem. Um, so I'm thinking the worms might be digging a little bit deeper. Let me dig around here, see if I can find some, and I'll bring you guys back. Shockingly, I spotted a baby right here, and there was another larger worm that fell down and looked like a red wiggler. Um, so I'm thinking there might be underneath all of this. Like I said, it feels a little bit dry and that might be part of the, the problem. I'm gonna have to add some more moisture to it. Just definitely wanted to be careful with that considering that this is, um, it, it could possibly freeze and I'm hoping to avoid that problem. So, let's see. There we go. Not many guys, but they are in here. That's another red wiggler, it looks like. So far, so good. And I just found another baby fell through my hands, but there's also a freshly laid cocoon. Oh, there's the baby. further I dig, the more I'm finding, but I don't want to dig them all up too much because they're probably going to the areas of the bin that's the most hospitable to them. But I see Afri um, African, a uh, European nightcrawler and some red wigglers as well. So um, I think we're going to add some more leaves today, some more coffee and alfalfa meal, but I'm going to moisten it down a lot more than I have before while we have a little bit of warm weather um, before it starts to get really cold again next week. But so far um, I'm actually impressed because the temperatures have been getting cold already and I feel like I still have a little time to figure this all out. So let me get some stuff together. I'll bring you guys along and we will get the bin fed up and uh, probably fill back up with a little bit more leaves. It's 24 degrees right now just took my trash cans out to the end of the road and this was below my recycling bin and that is below my bag of leaves. There is the lid to one of my trash cans and this actually has some ice on it, some water but some ice. Goes to show you these guys can survive some pretty harsh elements. 
Okay guys, so I went back for the worms that were underneath the garbage can in the recycling bin and I pulled all the worms I could find, tried to salvage them into this bin. Of course now I don't know if I can find them, but I also dumped in some coffee grounds and some water. And, excuse me, I'm going to add some alfalfa meal to this mix as well. I probably saved about, oh I don't know, 10 worms, 12 worms, maybe a few more. But I'm going to mix these coffee grounds in a bit. And you can see it's really wet in the bottom, but these will absorb that. And, um... Here's one of the worms that I saved. So I'm going to take a handful of this alfalfa meal that I have. You can see some steam coming off of this when I drop this in because it is really, really cold. Some of that's dust, but some of it's actually steam. So I'm going to mix this around, and I have the least invasive plan for, um, what do you call it, trying to keep the bin a little bit warmer, because we know that hot air rises and cold air sinks, if you remember learning that in school. So um, I actually have some of the plastic pocket, um, what do you call, oh gosh, brain work, little packing that they put in Amazon boxes, and I'm going to load that up on the top after I add some leaves and this mix with the alfalfa meal, and I'm wondering if that will prevent all of the hot air from escaping. So I'm going to let this sit for a little while out here mix up real well, let the uh, water soak up into these leaves, and then in a few hours we will go add this and the um, little pouch plastic pieces that are full of air that I'm hoping will kind of act as a barrier from the, um, to pr prevent some of that hot air from escaping the bin, see if that helps with them moving a little bit more and keeping the bin at a little bit warmer temperature but gosh it goes to show finding these worms underneath of the garbage can that um, they, they can do really really well even when it's really cold so I'm learning as I go here um, and I did save some of that extra plastic packing stuff and if this doesn't work well enough then my plan would be to um, actually wrap the entire bin in it to add an another insulating factor. So it's going to be a week by week trial and error. But this feels nice and warm actually. So I'm going to let this sit for another few hours and we will add it to the bin. So this is the plastic packing that I was talking about. And I have a lot more where this came from. But this is what I'm planning to top the bin with uh, temporarily to see what type of an impact it has for us. So finally finishing this video. This morning we're at 40 degrees, 42 maybe, in the bin here. So I'm excited to get this next step started up. So have a bin with some volunteer worms, some leaves, some uh, alfalfa meal, coffee grounds. I'm going to top it off with the leaves and all that good stuff and then top the plastic uh, airbags on top of that. All right, so here's my bin. I actually let it sit inside last night to kind of cure up. And it's very wet, but that's actually what I want so that the alfalfa meal can heat up for us. Still see some worms in the bottom I'll have to fish out in a minute here but uh, you can see some night crawlers 
and this wet stuff, uh, some of the moisture will seep down into the bin. And hopefully with the alfalfa and the coffee, that will help it to heat up significantly. So let me get the rest of these worms in here and then we'll top it all off. All right, so all my worms are already back into here. I'm gonna see how many of these I can fit over the top here to really add some extra insulation to these guys. I think that's gonna be pretty, pretty good because we're full now to the top. I'm gonna put my probe in here a little bit diagonal so that we'll be able to get a better read. And now I'm just going to top it off with our lid. And I don't believe that we will be smothering the worms out at all because there's still the air holes, still lots of um, leaves and stuff in there that will add plenty of uh, aeration for these guys. So I'm thinking this is going to be a really great um, addition to the bin. We'll see how it goes for another week. And then I'll be back with you guys for another update. So let me know what you think. Drop your comments below. Like this video, subscribe if you'd like some more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.